I remember the night of my 21st birthday. That was the first time I died. Zen construction site. Happily named. Classic mob venture filled with blue collar construction workers armed to the teeth. And my boss, Uncle Paulie, sent me here to whack the foreman. Like I said, classic. Here. 
Where the hell are you? Sucks, donkey dick. Ah! Jesus, I wouldn't want to do that again. Ah. Oh man, would you look at that? This pass cost me four hundred bucks or at South. Now they got blood stains all over them. <laughs> Some fucking twenty-first birthday for you, huh? Here, I got your present. Thanks, Mikey. And a boy, Jackie. You look after those pieces and use them well. Oh, this looks real bad. Real bad. Now go find out what's going on. And get the hell out of here. Mikey, who's this Sullivan guy? And what did he do to Paulie? Who gives a shit? He probably looked at him the wrong way. There ain't no free passes for Paulie. No matter what he did, let's remember that. Where do I find Sullivan? He should be in his office, at the far end of the site. You be careful, though. His boys sure as hell know we're coming. How many guys he got on the site? 20, 30 tops. Some real hard asses from, from the Emerald Isle. Hey, fuck it. Let's just go home, and we're gonna tell Pauly we blew it. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's like asking a goddamn shark to share its dinner. We finished the hit. We just might make it out alive. Okay, Jack. If we are right now, let's go make that hit.
It's your Uncle Paulie. You know you've been a pain in my ass since the day I met you, Jackie. Pissing and moaning about the way I do business. Well, you need to learn who's calling the shots in this family. I've been very, very generous to you, Jackie. In fact, I got a surprise for you. On your birthday. It's in the closet. Have a blast. Me and Paulie never did agree about the way things were being done. Paulie took the business into selling drugs, working side by side with the cops. When I was growing up, the family had codes. We did business. We looked out for the people. I believe we ought to honor those codes. Now Paulie, he's just a parasite. Wants to bleed me dry. Down there! He's going towards the cemetery. Tell the boys to drive around the block. We'll squeeze him in there. Where is he? I don't see him no more. I lost him too. Don't worry after that fall. Darkness will fall. Hey, who's there? What are you doing to my cemetery? All he says we see him, we blow his brains out. Over we got there! Him! Run him down! Don't shoot me, son. Frank Rottenberg's the name. I live here. Yeah. Smells like Satan's bunghole. <laughs> but it beats freezing to death. Yeah, nice place. Angel statue and everything. Eh? What the hell are you talking about? You're in a piss parlor, kid. Yeah, unless you mean the Trinity Cemetery outside. Is there a way out of this fucking cemetery? There's a gate at the north end. Yeah, you got luck on it, though. Keeps out the undesirable element. He went in here! He's surrounded! Through you, I will display my power. Happy birthday, you stupid son of a bitch!
man for himself! shit here. I've heard people complain that life is unpredictable. Well, I never had a life that was predictable. But what happened to me today? That's why I need you, Jenny. You're the only one I can count on. Ordinary, dull, pointless maggots! Hi, this is Jenny. Jenny, it's me, Jackie. Hi, a baby. Happy birthday. I just got into my new place. I thought you were gonna help me unpack. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. Things got kind of screwed up at work. Again? That's too bad. I have a surprise for you. I can't talk right now, but I'll be there soon. I promise. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Look, just remind me again how to get to your new place. It's on Orchid Street here in Chinatown. It's just next to the basketball court. It's apartment number 11. Oh, but you'll have to go around back through Mulberry Alley. They're doing repairs or something on the front door. Are you on your way now? I'll be over as soon as I can. Now do me a favor. Just don't open the door till you know it's me. I'm a big girl, mystery man. I can take care of myself. I'll see you when you get here. Hey, humor me just this once. Okay? Now I gotta run. Bye.
Call Center. For personal assistance, press 1. If you're on fire, press 2. If someone is trying to stab you, press 3. If someone is already stabbing you, press 4. If you've been stabbed and you're currently bleeding to death, press 5. If you are stabbing someone, press 6. For everything else, press 7. Thank you and have a nice day. Yo, Jackie! It's me, Enzo! Wait up! I hear you pissed off your Uncle Paulie. Put his boys out to look for you. You knock bones with one of his girls or something? Why don't you ask him? Uh-uh. I steer clear of that little rat like he had the bubonic plague. What the hell did you do? Uh, money was involved. I was unconscious at the time. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Hey, I was wondering, you still seeing that girl Jenny? Because I was thinking, you know, if you ain't... Hey. I'm still seeing her. Matter of fact, she just pays me. Oh, okay. Well, there's a phone down the platform you can call her from, you know? Hey, you say hi for me, okay? Captain Edward Schrote in the upcoming election? Absolutely not, no. Since Captain Schrote has been in office, crime rates have plummeted thanks to his zero-tolerance policy. I think that the law-abiding and upstanding citizens of our fine city will want to keep it that way. And for that to happen, they need him in office. Thank you for your time, Lieutenant. This is Jane Unger for Newswatch 6 saying thank you and good night. Hey, Jackie, it's me, Nicky Barucci. Uh, wait up. Good to see you, Jackie. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. So what's the news with Polly? And how's the wife? Yeah, so-so, Jackie. But it ain't the wife I'm worried about. It's Polly. That little Doberman don't see anything but money. Word's out, Jackie. He's paying a lot of cash to the guys who bring you down. Some of the younger boys... He gets scared to take a dump without his permission. Spineless little turds. I wouldn't come around here for a while if I was you. Polly put a hit on me. Already. Yeah, already. You just be careful around here, son. And, and try not to whack anyone. Old Butcher's got his hands full cleaning up the last mess. Some asshole hit the head chef at the Olive Grove by mistake. A fucking bloodbath in there. You 
You remember Jenny, right? She moved to a new place around here. It's supposed to be by some ball court. You know where it is? The basketball court. Sure. First street to the left, and then second to the right. But in case you didn't hear me the first time, Paulie's got a hit out on it. So be careful. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Barucci. But I can take care of myself. Ever been in love with somebody who is so beautiful and pure, you couldn't bear to show them your own darkness? That's how I feel about you. We grew up together in St. Mary's Orphanage. I guess I'm gonna have to tell you the truth about what kind of scumbag I really am. But what the hell am I gonna say? Stand in the shadows, Jack. Leave this place? Come here, look on the kitchen table. Surprise! Cake. <laughs> you won't believe this. Look, Giancarlo spelled your name wrong again. <laughs> well, you gonna blow out the candles?
Happy birthday, rat face. You're finally legal. I know you always piss and moan about your birthday, but I couldn't resist. I mean, you're only 21 once, right? Are you okay, babe? You're being kind of quiet. I got a real problem, Jenny. Something happened today with my Uncle Polly. And it's a real bad situation. Polly? What kind of situation? Okay. See, here's the thing. I was supposed to collect some money from my Uncle Polly downtown. Only the money wasn't there. And now Uncle Polly's kind of pissed at me. I'm sure it's going to be okay. It's been like nine years since he took you home from the orphanage. Your Uncle Polly likes you, doesn't he? Jenny, baby, you don't get it. Uncle Paulie isn't a teddy bear. He's a fucking psychopath. And he's gonna kill me. Kill you? What are you talking about? What exactly do you do for your Uncle Paulie anyway? <sighs> um... I'm a contract killer. I, uh, kill people for the Franchetti crime family. I meant to tell you. I just didn't know how, baby. What? Are you nuts? You are nuts. This is just like you, Jackie. There's something else wrong and you're hiding it with some kind of weird-ass story you just made up. Hey, come on. It's your birthday and I've got a new apartment. Let's take one day off from fucked up. Your friend Butcher came by today. He wanted you to call him when you could. I wrote the number on the notepad by the phone. Come on, sit here for a while, Jackie. And watch some TV with me. Hello, Jackie. I heard about what happened tonight. I don't need to point out to you, this is a bad situation. You better come and see me. Where are you? I heard through the grapevine you were at the Olive Grove. Yeah. And let me tell you something. It's a good thing your Aunt Sarah's out of town. The Olive Grove is right next to her apartment, and this has been one messy afternoon. Now you get yourself over here, but tread lightly. I've got my share of shit for tonight, okay? Hey, leave the goons to me. Now listen, Butch. Things are happening. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by a very nasty scumbag whose name rhymes with Pauly Franchetti. Okay, now I want you to notice. I do this only for you because of who your father was and because you've always shown respect to your family. Now listen, you go through Doyer's Alley across from Jenny's apartment. I got my car parked there. You make sure no one sees you. I'll leave the back door entrance to the kitchen open. You got that? Jackie, what is it? Jenny? Yeah? Nothing. <laughs> Let's just sit here for a while. Okay?
You want the remote, don't you, mister? Uh-uh. No, my apartment, my TV, my remote. Hmm. Are you cold, Jackie? God. It's freezing in here. Thank <laughs> you. 